Today I want to speak to those who are watching and maybe you're a theologian or you're a scholar or you're interested in studying the Bible. Maybe you are involved in teaching a Bible class or preaching from time to time or you just enjoy studying the Word of God. I want to give you today five books that every Christian student should have or certainly five books that have been a big help to me and I need all the help that I can get. I'm not the sharpest tool in the box and I don't have a huge library. Uh, I'm not a big, big reader in some ways, but I want to recommend five books that have been a big help to me over these years. And the first one is Dr. Alan Kearns Dictionary of Theological Terms. Alan Kearns, Dr. Alan Kearns was one of our own ministers in our own denomination, the Free Presbyterian Church. He was a great evangelist, a great Bible teacher and a, a great pastor. And he wrote quite a number of books and maybe his most well known is the Dictionary of Theological Terms. It passed through three editions. This is the second edition and it works like a, an A to Z encyclopedia of theological terms. And Dr. Kearns was a scholarly man, well read in reformed literature and he has taken so much of his learning and study over the years and compiled it in a concise way that makes some doctrines that are difficult to understand, makes them nice and simple. So we had this in Bible college and it was a big, big help just to open it there. Uh, that's the layout, A to Z. So if I just open it here at random, uh, the intermediate state, the internal call, intercession of Christ, uh, irresistible grace, uh, that's Dictionary of Theological Terms, highly recommended. Going to cheat now for the number two. Uh, it's a two-volume set. And Irving Jensen of the Moody Institute in Chicago. Irving Jensen, Survey of the Old Testament and Survey of the New Testament. Very, very helpful if you're studying a book within the Bible. He doesn't give you all the information. He sets out a background. He gives you various charts and things and gets you to do a lot of the speed work yourself. So over the years, I got these in 2004, and I've used them a lot over the years. Irving Jensen, Survey of the Old Testament and Survey of the New Testament. So with Alan Kearns, you get the theology. With Irving Jensen, you get a good overview of the Bible that lets you do the speed work yourself. And then a book that is on my desk nearly all the time and that is Cruden's Concordance to the Bible. Uh, C.H. Spurgeon highly recommended this. He said something similar. He says, for these few years this has been the book at my left hand when the word of God has been at my right. What a precious assistant. Cruden's Concordance of the Bible. It's one of the most simple concordances you can get. I remember a lady telling me once who worked in the Bible bookshop, there are three main concordances. Young's Concordance for young Christians, Strong Concordance for strong Christians, and Cruden's Concordance for crude Christians. don't know if that's accurate or not, but Cruden's Concordance, great book uh, if you're following a theme or you're looking for a verse. And then another one uh, for the theologians, uh, the Westminster Confession of Faith and Subordinate Standards. Uh, don't think there's a better summary of Christian doctrine, sound biblical doctrine, than the Westminster Confession of Faith and the larger catechism and the shorter catechism. This one has got the scripture proofs and there's also some associated historical uh, documents with it. Banner of Truth published this and I've had another edition. This is a slightly newer one, but very important a uh, very, very helpful book, The Westminster Confession of Faith. And then lastly, uh, Matthew Henry's Commentary on the Whole Bible. There are many good commentaries, many helpful commentaries, but it really is hard to beat Matthew Henry. This is a one-volume uh, edition. I think you can get a six-volume set as well. Uh, the print's quite small in this one. And it's very thick. It's not that easy to handle, maybe on your desk. But it's a really, really good overview, again, of the Bible. So those five books, six books, and the one was two-volume set, give you a good uh, start in your studies. Of course, the Word of God is paramount. 
but just something to help you on your way if you're studying. Matthew Henry's Commentary, Westminster Confession of Faith, Cruden's Concordance, Irving Jensen, Bible Surveys, and uh, Alan Kearns, Dr. Kearns, Dictionary of Theological Terms. Friends, we'll see you again next time. Thank you for joining us today.